Hi, this is Leah Klein, health and wholeness coach. And today my question for you is, are you living in fear? Our verse is Isaiah 50, verse 7. But the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I am not disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be put to shame. Are you afraid of being disgraced or put to shame? Or maybe you're just living in another kind of fear that is changing your perspective and causing you to not do things that like spend time with other people that you need to do. Are you allowing it to you know, warp your existence? We are called to be steadfast because as it says in our verse, God is with us and helps us. And it, when we have that, when we have that, we do not need to live in fear. And it's not that seemingly bad things can't happen to us. That's not what it's about. It's about ultimately where we end up and our position with God. That as a Christian, that position does not change. That position is eternal. And you can count on that. And you can count on his preserving you. And as John Piper said in his devotional uh, today, uh, until your time comes, you're immortal. If, if you go and die, that is because that was the time that God chose for you. And up until that point, nothing can ultimately harm you. And so I thought that was an interesting, um, relatable food for thought to our verse today. And I want to encourage you to pray and ask God to remind you that he is there and that he is helping you. And for a song today, I'm going to do uh, It Is Well With My Soul. And I had the hymn book here, but I had not opened it. So just one sec here. Get it open to the right page. Feel free to sing along if you want, or just listen. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when the face shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound, and the Lord shall be sent. Even so, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Also remember the story behind that song. He just lost most of his family and he wrote that. 
and he, he knows. <laughs> he, he knew any pain that you're feeling right now. He had experienced that and he was still able to say it as well with his soul. And so can you. So I want to encourage you to spend some time with God and think about that and ask him to make his presence known to you. And I will see you next week with another verse. See you then.